Hello there, uh, this is David once again on the microphone and this time I want to show you how to create an instance or a compute engine or a VPS on GCP. So here's my account and the project is called Patacente. You can see this is my account over here and these are the different instances we have so far. So right now the page I am on is the VPS instances but you know GCP has quite a lot. For example if I tap here you can see the different services. So if you click Compute Engine, you can manage all of these. All right, so let's head straight to create a new instance. And when you are creating an instance, you set the name which might be permanent. You won't be able to change. So I'll create here demo binge, and here you can see the price. So usually the instances at GCP are expensive. You know, with the DigitOcean, you have instances at uh, ten dollars at uh, Linode. You have the same uh, at uh, Contable. You have instances that go way below ten dollars but gcp and aws are a little bit expensive but there's a way you can change the price to reduce it a little bit for example you can see that the default instances that has been selected is two virtual cpus plus 4 gb of ram and 10 gb hard drive now we want to have 30 gb of storage and we want to have 2 gb of ram so that we cut the price to almost a half. We shall leave it at E2 in the series and you can see the description of the series. You can see here that low cost day to day computing. They allow 1 to 128 GB of RAM over here. I don't know how I can zoom that for you. First of all, come here and change the region. So I'll change the region to Asia. So I will look for Asia. Let me try daily and see what will happen. And by choosing daily, the price has changed from 32 to 30. And uh, here I can change Asia South to A. Then over here, I want to reduce the RAM. I can come over to Zeta Advanced Configurations, I think Custom. Then over here, I can choose 2 GB of RAM and wait to see the price. The price is 40 something, but I can click in this drop down and choose one of these. You can see medium, you can see it to small, and you can see E2 micro. So since we want 2 GB of RAM, I'll choose that. And you can see here, the price has changed to 15. And uh, then we want to change the storage to 30, which will increase the price by about $2 and we shall end up in 18. So scroll down here at boot disk, click change and just type 30 here. Then I will also like to change the, the operating system to Ubuntu. And here, then I want to choose the Ubuntu 22.04 LTS, but there are CPU architectures. For example, if I choose this one, this one doesn't. So there's one ARM64. I want to work with, depending on the architecture of your CPU. So I'll choose this one here, which is x86 and the amd64 that's what i'll choose and then select we can proceed to create the instance there's something i didn't do with this instance but let's hope we can do it it's to do with the networking uh, let's hope we can do it after it has been set up it's taking its time so i can reload here and i see looks like it is already created but um, we want to ensure that this VPS can host webs and uh, people can reach I'll click that instance then down here you can see HTTP and HTTPS traffic are off under firewall so if these are off your VPS won't accept traffic so you want to stop this instance let's go back a little bit so here I'll select it and click stop so that I can go and change the HTTP and HTTPS traffic in the firewall. I think it has uh, stopped already though the message is de delayed to appear in the browser. I'll double click it regardless and then I'll click edit and then I'll scroll down. Allow this traffic 
and uh, I won't bother with a load balancer. The other thing we want to do is to assign a permanent IP address as opposed to a temporary one because if the IP address keeps changing, it will be very hard for us to add domains to our VPS. Now, I'll just go over here. I'll click this. Then I will go to VPC, Virtual Private Network, and I'll click IP addresses. IP addresses will be listed down here. And uh, what I'm going to do is to reserve an external static IP address. And uh, I'll ensure it's IP4. I don't care whether it's premium. I'll just go for standard. And I'll ensure that it's in the same location as I chose for the VPS. And I choose what instance it's attached to. So it's attached to demo BNG. And then I can here say demo BNG IP4. So lowercase letters only. Now resolve. So now you can go back to compute engines by clicking this menu icon over here. Then compute engines. And then they are here. And we can now start the compute engine by selecting it. You click the checkbox and then click start. If you don't want to go there. You may not select it and just go to these three vertical ellipses. You'll see options. So if you click Start Regime, it will start. And uh, we are good to go. I want to attempt to install something called Coolify to this instance. So let's go to Coolify. My friend called John told me that Coolify turns a VPS instance into something that can help you self-host your apps, whether they are Next.js, uh, Strapi, Upright, Superbase, so on and so forth. Usually I host these in uh, VPSs that are fully custom, but the problem I have is I have to set up CI CD by myself. So if this system can help me cut the time, the better. So I will just copy this command over here and I'll go to the instance list. You can see here in this block, it says VM started. VM stands for virtual machine. So I'll go here and click SSH. So with Google, or GCP, I don't necessarily have to access the instance in my terminal. If you were to access it in the terminal, then you have to set up an SSH key and go further. But there's this option, so why bother a lot? It has to, to log in because we are logging in via the web terminal. So that pop-up you saw was for logging in. It's taking a little bit of time and it has got in. So here I'll do this. Hopefully it allows to go into root. And yes, it has gone in. So I'll paste the command that we copied. I've zoomed in so that uh, we can all see. Yeah, so this is my first time to install this. And let me hope it works. Does not have a stable cell I use with in scripts. That's a warning just. So here it says it's installing required packages. So God is good. It has installed and it, you can see the congratulation message here. That was really simple. So we can access it over via this URL. Let's see the moment of truth. Paste this. Well, this might not work because the Coolify server is set to run on port 8000 but gcp is strict with their firewall so that means that we may not be able to access this unless we open up this port so we have to go to gcp and um, we can go to vpc if i've not forgotten and then we can go to firewall we want to open up that port go over here create firewall rule and i'll say allow qualify then i will leave this to default and uh, this i also leave to default then i think it should be ingress and target tags if you have target tags tags you can specify them so i think i would just say qualify and then i all ip addresses so i will write 0, .0, .0, 0.0.0 forward slash zero then i will allow a specified ports not all on on a tcp and i'll write 8000 and 
I'll create uh, must be lower case. So yeah, allow qualify create the rule. We have to attach this rule to the instance where we want it to work. Let's go to the instance now uh, by going to compute engine and then instances. We have to. I'm not sure if for this we need to stop, but I'll stop it. And I'll just click there, then stop. It will take a few moments and it will tell me whether it has stopped or not. Looks like it hasn't stopped yet, but I'll just double click it. Uh, networking, you see network tags here. Okay, let's try to edit. We can go to networking. Uh, let's see, tags over here. What is it, qualify? I think so. So we type it over there and we save. So remember when we were creating the rule in the firewall, there were two things. There was a name for the rule and a tag. So the name was allow qualify and the tag was qualify. So we've done that. Now let's go to start and resume our instance. We shall now go back to the browser and check whether qualify is installed. And by the way, if Qualify has installed, I'll be using the instance for hosting Laravel app. Qualify installed. So it's working. Now you, we need to create the default account. I'll just put in my name and I'll put in davideducations at gmail.com. Yeah, I'll use that password and register. But I need, but uh, yeah, let me put this password over here in uh, last pass. So welcome to Qualify. Wasn't that too easy? Ladies and gentlemen, that's how you install Qualify. Let me try to install something on it and then I'll get back to you. So I'll stop there for now. If you are new to this channel, consider subscribing. That's one way you can support this channel to grow. Thank you very much. See you in the next.